So I'm sat in strange ways, cat A. I was down reception. The nurse is coming in, checking and saying, oh, are you all right? I said, yeah. So you're going to be all right upstairs? I'm saying, yeah. So are you sure? I'm sat there thinking, am I? Do you know what I mean? I'm thinking, am I? Because I've gone from here being one of the most dangerous to being here to be fucking just a little 19-year-old kid. Because now you've got fucking terrorists in there, people are in for terrorism charges, murderers, all types. The, the worst of the worst go to Cat A. Is this where the Danny G and Darren G were at? I met Danny here. I didn't see Darren. I think Darren... Now, Darren was in there, actually. But he was over on the mains. He wasn't on the unit with us. What was Danny G like? Because we did a video with uh, Neil Sam with Sam the guard saying that he just fucking, like, 10 guards went in and he was yeah, he's a around problem. like rag dolls. Yeah, he's a problem. He's a problem, I swear. Listen, and I don't... I don't say this just for clout or for attention, yeah? I was stood in the dinner queue one day with Danny and, you know, the screws have got the buttons. Yeah. So one of the screws, the button was hanging out of its, like, metal case. Danny's gone. Yeah. Sure, that's a security breach. This screw, yeah? Officer, screw, whatever you want to call him, yeah? He was a prick, yeah? He was a proper prick, like, Type of guy you say, go what time is fuck off. All right, all right, mate. Danny's gone to him, sure that's the security breach. He's looked at him and gone, hey, Danny, you don't need that, mate. We know you don't need that. I'm looking, thinking, wow, but I never knew who Danny was before this. Do you know what I mean? But then I was on there with a few other scousers, like uh, Ryan Lloyd and that from Crocky, a good mate of mine. So there's a few other scousers on there. The screws have come to them and said, yeah. Um, Danny G's coming up this afternoon. Has anyone got any problems with him? So everyone's like, nah, nah. So I'm hearing the name, I'm thinking, who the hell's that? But like I'm saying to them, who's that? Why are they coming? to said, listen, this guy, he's ruthless. Do you know what I mean? So I'm thinking, all right. He's come up, then I've just seen him. He was the first guy, yeah? He used to show the press something stupid. I think it's about 130, 130 key. Just stood there, just like that. Oh. Like it's nothing. I'm thinking 140 it was. I'm lying. It was 140. Just stood there like it's nothing. I'm thinking, wow, he's a he's a beast. Him, he's a unit. So he was, yeah. And and all due respect to him, the officers respected him as well. And this was in strange ways. So Darren works out a lot, and he's ripped to fuck. Is Danny a lot bigger than Darren? Yeah, Danny's bulky. Darren's more cut up. I was in loud with him. He he he's enough one. He's a strong guy as well. Yeah. He used to do power clean press with 130. I think his name was on the board in Loudoun because they have a board of like the heaviest lifters. He got the 130 for his weight um, weight category. Do you have any other stories of Danny? Danny, nah. Remember, we almost got into an altercation once in the gym, me and Danny. You and Danny? Yeah, what, what was, in the gym. What was that over then? Weights. Because in um, Strange Ways, there's only 140 kilos in the gym because on the unit there's only about it's about 20 20 inmates let's say yeah so about eight of you will be in the gym so you have to share 140 key between you so like i said he's just doing this fucking madness no 180 180 key in the gym so he's just doing this madness he's got all the weights so we have to share the weights so then what's happened he's got the weights so then it was supposed to be my set, so we're waiting for him, done whatever. So it was supposed to be my turn now. So then he's turned around, nah, I'm going again. Oh, yeah, how the fuck do you mean going again? It's sharing it. He's ended up going off, Rah! doing all that. I've tried to grab the weights, he's barging me, bouncing off him like, fuck you know. And I wasn't a small guy at this point, but ain't afraid to say it. You're not a small guy now. Yeah, like I was just bouncing off him. Like he wasn't, it wasn't punches on now, it was more like, just tussling, do you know what I mean? So when I'm trying to grab weights, he's barging me out. I'm just flying around like a rag doll. Then my, one of my other friends, one of the older lot, he's come down from Franklin for accumulated visits. So he's just like called all, like, yo, what's going on? Chill out, man. Like, then we've all stopped. Then another good friend of mine, Chaos from London, he was there. So he just started going ballistic. Oh, what's going on? So everyone's just stopped like, so he's like, what's going on? Why are we fighting? 
So then it's all just stopped from then. Then we've gone back upstairs, went and spoke to Danny, says to him, you know what, just forget about it, man. It's just some bullshit. I'll be honest with you, I didn't really want nothing with him. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Even though I had friends on there, I thought I don't really want nothing with him because when I say, he's like, he's like the Hulk. It's a big lump of a man. And I thought, you know what? And especially when I was bouncing off him, I thought, nah, nah. Do you think Danny G will ever get out of prison? I'm not sure. No. I've seen him again in Loudoun. So I know he's progressing through the system. But I think he might be IPP. And yeah, I think he is. Yeah, so yeah. it's hard work. It, what you have to do with IPP, you kind of have... They have to prove that... No, you have to prove you're no longer a risk to society. And if you've got a bad reputation in jail, psychologists and whoever else, they're not going to really give you a good report to let you out. So I hope he does, but them IPPs are bastards. They're treating him like the new Charles Bronson, aren't they? Yeah, well, then he's probably... He's going to have problems then. Yeah, yeah. So in that Cat A then, Supermax... Is the tension between the scouts, the Liverpool people from Liverpool and Manchester? Nah, that was in Young Offenders. In the Young Offenders, is yeah. the tension. Yeah, Young yeah. Offenders. It was like the Manx and Scousers. At times we would get along. Then all it takes is one person. Because while we, while I was there, we used to get along because we had the weed and they had the phones, so we'd kind of coexist. But then when I got shipped out, all it takes is one person to come and spoil the whole thing. So, one geezer's come. My mates borrowed him a phone. It's ended up stealing the phone and whatever. Then it's ended up turning into tension. Do you know what I mean? So now he was at war and like that. But in in these northwest jails, they're the two biggest gangs, if you know what I mean, the Manx and the Scousers. Do you know what I mean? So there was them two. And then sometimes we get along and other times we can't. Because I'm from Witness and... Um... I'd go raving in Manchester and raving in Liverpool. And then when my Manx friends are like, come and check, you know, the state out on Quadrant Park. Like, oh, I see me with now, yeah, yeah. fucking fuck soccer hooliganism. Yeah. And these guys are proper, like, oh, big old chains on, tattooed up yeah. and everything. But in the end, I did convince some to go either side. And with the rave scene, everyone on ecstasy, it was quite peaceful. They were shitting themselves first thinking they were going to yeah, get attacked, yeah. but it was all quite peaceful. But well, that rivalry's just long standing, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I, I've I've got a few um I got a few scouts uh, supporters on my YouTube page and he's when they start messaging me and all that saying, Oh, it's your mate, it's your, it's your scouse mate, and I'm saying, Fuck <laughs> off. Do you know what I mean? So uh, you know what? To hear that from a scouse, like, I appreciate it. You know, even when I come up today and I'm stood there, I'm thinking, oh fucking hell, I need to ask for directions for yeah, how do I get to Tesco from here? They've looked at me and gone, yeah, just round that bend, I kid, and I'm thinking, all right, sweet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, it's sweet, man. Because with this, not much happened, and I just parted my ass off in Liverpool and Manchester. It was like, they knew how to party properly.